Oh no, I never met him. I, I just I heard he was having a show. I was paying him. I'm just observing right now. I'm observing and I'm trying to figure it out. You know? It was kind of about sirens, but not in the strictest um, meaning of the word, you know, not like a Hollywood siren or... It's kind of like the idea of a dangerous woman. It's kind of like a dominant woman and a submissive man, I suppose. Like the boys in the show were supposed to kind of be the accessories. Our first boy out was our second look and we put him in this kind of very chic pair of braces and these white pants, kind of a little Fred Astaire vibe. But then it's kind of, you know, it's kind of like those little dog harnesses you use to walk your dog. You know, it's not S&M the way it's done, but it's kind of got a little bit of a wink to that. <laughs> We wanted it to be very chic and expensive looking and not to cheapen it by any sort of overly vulgar references. It was kind of a conscious decision to start off with something that you know, even the first section that we did, like kind of like this scuba wear, leather, cashmere sort of neoprene stuff, um, that was kind of, you know, normally if we were to do something like that, we'd do it in a very stiff leather and um, it looks really good and it doesn't kind of, it doesn't really go beyond the runway, but now it's kind of, we've developed it to a certain degree where it can be, you know, those jackets are super light, you can kind of, you can really wear them. I liked very much Gareth's clothes when he was showing in London. I thought they had the brilliant edge that early McQueen had. That's, uh, that's a sort of daring and death-defying leap into some unknown, grim, slightly grim world that sort of carried you along with it. Um, here, I think he's trying very hard to be commercial, and I don't think that um, Gareth's mind goes along, really, with what his mouth is saying about being commercial. <laughs> the staging is brilliant. I think that the whole, um, the whole atmosphere, bringing London to Paris is a good idea but he somehow has to show himself to be a bit more versatile than the clothes that we're seeing now. I love the show, I thought it was extremely consistent, um, very inspiring, um, and, you know, extremely unique. I mean, it's hard for designers to stay consistent. A lot of times they try to do things to please the crowd or please the buyers, please the fashion world. I think he stayed consistent with his message and um, it was a very, very extremely strong statement. I feel this show was completely different to what I've done previously, but then it's like you pick it apart and there's a lot of things that are, you know, you can trace back to certain things that I did years ago and um, I always say it's always a work in progress and I'm sure there's stuff from this show that, you know, we've never done before that we will work on for maybe next season, maybe next year. It's
I think he will always be an avant-gardist. And if it's tamed down, I don't think it's as interesting. Um, I thought this was kind of interesting, but it seemed to me that there were a lot of things that looked almost identical, one following the other. I, in the end, I felt like I was watching the same outfit come out. We can skip around quite a lot with things because it'll always have a thread run, running through it because it always will come from me. I don't employ other designers to help me. It's kind of, it's quite a personal thing and it's very much, um, I like to be in control of things in that respect because then, I, you know, if I was to do that, I think you kind of lose your voice a little. So yeah, I mean, I suppose I'm the, <laughs> I'm the thread. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of out and out glamour, so doing a lot of long dresses, I was a little worried. Um, but I think it's kind of got a little bit more of an edge than, you know, if we'd have just done a whole Oscar dress collection. You know, I don't feel like people know me or think of what I do as being kind of at all classic or chic or expensive or elegant or... So I just wanted to kind of put a stamp on that because we can do it and I enjoy doing it and... Um, I'm, you know, I was happy with the show and I, you know, I, you know, I think it was just a necessary sort of step, kind of a next step, so...